Hey guys, Tyler Hooks here with J Concepts and we are at Hobby Town Hobbyplex here in Omaha, Nebraska, home of the Summer INS series round for 2023. Uh, we're gonna check out the hobby shop and then we're gonna show you all the different um, tracks and courses and things that they have here at the facility. Uh, so come on in, join us, and uh, we'll show you around. All right, so we're just inside the front door here at the Hobbyplex in Omaha, Nebraska. And this place, it has uh, one of the most incredibly fully stocked hobby shops that you'll see around the country. Um, obviously, this place is a hobby town. So over here on this side, you have all the RC accessories and things that you could ask for, whether it's surface stuff, basher stuff, or even the airplanes and helicopters. And then more on this side, you have uh, the toys and games and the Gundams and the bottles and all the paint and everything so these guys kind of do it all here it's not just a, you know an RC race shop uh, kind of as we highlighted at Northwest Hobbies this is kind of kind of something more for for everybody um, they have the toys the games um, as well as as all the race stuff for the multitude of different tracks that they have here so what we're gonna do is uh, kind of show you some of the tracks in the back show you all the different parts of the facility and uh, we'll just keep it moving the Hobbyplex is in a really tall two-story building, so on the upper level here is where the hobby shop is, and then down below, as you can see through the window, we have the on-road track and all the pit areas. So the Hobbyplex uh, can host you know, 400 entries, 300 entries pretty easily as they're doing you know, this weekend with the INS or have they, as they've done in the past. All the guys pit right down here. Then they have the on-road track right behind, and even in the winter, they'll throw some jumps out there and do some carpet off-road. And the other thing that's kind of cool that's new since I've been here is a 124 scale crawler course that's here indoors. So we're gonna kind of show you all the tracks and the two crawler courses that they have. So we'll get on, move on. on. So we headed outside behind the Hobbyplex uh, building here and we have the 10 scale, 8 scale crawler course that they've got built, which is pretty neat. Um, and the other thing, the last thing that they have is the indoor 8 scale, 10 scale track that they have. They race both 10 scale electric off-road as well as 8 scale nitro and electric off-road here. And so that's where our uh, event ad is at this weekend is outside on, or inside on the indoor track. Um, and then we're going to end this video off talking to Alex Sturgeon, the manager of the Hobbyplex. So. All right, guys, so part of this facility overview, we're caught up with Alex Sturgeon. Uh, he is the general manager of the Hobbytown Hobbyplex here in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, we're back up in their absolutely stunning hobby shop. Um, you are definitely one of those you know, guys, when I think of the tracks that we go to, that, that goes above and beyond, not just with the racing side of things, but just being that this is you know a facility that um, you guys have a lot of hobbies in here. Yeah. Um, so how do you kind of juggle all of that and how do you, if you do, separate the racing side from the general basher or the general consumer side? Uh, well, we, obviously I think, I think the store up here being able to carry as much stuff as we can and you know we have like a crawling corner, we've got a lot of Arma and tracks and stuff and then we've got the racing stuff you know, drag stuff, you can't not have um, that stuff if you're going to be a good hobby store, right? So a hobby store kind of takes care of itself um, and the track can sort of take care of itself. Uh, we try to integrate as much as we can um, with Family Friday Off-Road, right? That's our beginner night. So uh, we have this class called Flexbec and uh, came up with that name like in 05 when I was trying to figure out what we were going to do for an off-road program. When I was growing up, uh, around Omaha. Omaha has always been a really big RC town, but it's never been very nice to beginners. And so I wanted to change that way back in 05. And so uh, we came up with Flexpec. There's nothing spec about it, it was just a cool name, but it, it basically was like trying to make an inviting uh, way to get new people into it. So we try to convert as many of these Traxxas and Arma people as we can into racers. And Family Friday does that because it doesn't matter what you have, you can just show up, you can pay five bucks, you can race. Um, and then, you know, we, we pick off quite a few of those guys and turn them into Saturday racers and and it seems to work out and it's a good way to kind of um, uh, you know as some kids get older and they start moving on to other stuff they kind of get backfilled by some of those plexers that come up now so so in, in um, 
This is a little bit of a loaded question because obviously you guys have a large facility, so you have the ability to do a lot of different things, such yeah. as the on-road and the off-road track. But I've noticed that you guys really hustle to uh, do different things on your existing tracks, whether if it's the off-road track, whether it's the off-road and the dirt oval, mm -hmm. or the on-road track, whether it's on-road or carpet off-road. Um, you know, how is it difficult or do you have a good crew that's able to help you kind of flip things throughout the week and get it all going? It's difficult, <laughs> but it's also, uh, we, we've gotten into a rhythm of stuff. So we kind of have seasons, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, part of when this place was originally built, because uh, originally the dirt track wasn't covered. There wasn't even a dirt track when this place was built. So basically we had the shop and then we had the carpet track. Um, I, when I came on, I was put in charge of developing an off-road track. So we had this big, massive outdoor dirt eight-scale track. Got you know, it was brutal to work on. It was outside, and it happened to be like in some of the hottest like years that I can remember. Um, then it got really rainy. We held the 09 Nats. It got rained on, almost washed out the whole track. Kind of made stuff really tough. And the owner at the time was like, "We're gonna put a roof on this," and that's how the roof happened. Um, so we're the Plex, and that was the original idea. Was the Hobby Plex. And, and what that meant was that we can do a lot with hobbies. So we have, um, we've done, and we still can, we have indoor flying, we have um, on-road racing, carpet, off-road racing on the carpet. Um, we do the dirt oval racing in the winter time. Uh, we do eight scale off-road in the winter time. That's when our season switches. So, so for us here, it's 10 scale from April through September. Mm -hmm. And then it's eight scale from October through March. Cause we're like the only place in like, I don't know, what, four or 500 miles that can do an indoor, something you know, like uh, something especially like that. Especially when it's snowing. Yeah, especially when it's snowing. So, so that's why the Techno Series is really popular because we're kind of the only place anybody can go. Um, so that was the plan. That was the plan all along. We have a crawler course, it's 2,000 square feet outside. We have a mini crawler course downstairs. We're always trying to integrate stuff. I have this great idea. We're going to do Hot Wheels racing. Oh, cool! On Thursdays, uh, coming up pretty soon. Um, uh, with the new ownership, we've gotten into gaming, so now we're we're trying to get some gaming nights started. Um, the store we have a South store that's been totally redone. Um, it reopened in May, and they do Mini Z racing down there. They have a mini crawler course, and they're doing gaming nights and stuff too. So. In my opinion, because we have to battle the internet too, mm -hmm. that's part of it too. Luckily, the price wars on the internet and hobby shops have kind of settled down, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but you still have to provide a place to go and be a destination and, and, and have a service. And you know, that customer service has to be there too. And that's how you win. That's how you, that's how you get people to, to stop buying online and have all of your locals buy all your stuff from you. So you gotta just constantly come up with new things to do and make it fun for people, make it inviting. You can't have a place for, you know, I remember back when I was a kid, uh, we moved to Topeka and one of the hobby shops down there, their track was in the basement and my mom walked halfway down there and smelled cigarette smoke and she's like, nope. <laughs> and we turned right around and never went back. And so you're trying to make an environment that's that's fun and family friendly. And then of course us, the, 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 the hardcore guys that want 10th of a second off our lap time and stuff, we also have a place to go. Mm -hmm. All right, well, a uh, big thank you to Alex for taking the time to do this and obviously for hosting these events and doing all that he does for the hobby. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate Hobbytown, Hobbyplex uh, hosting us. So thank you again, and we'll be back soon with some more content.